start with contracting sprites. Chapter 266, Research Team White Cloud City, Exploration Hall After buying the map, a research team of eight people found the person in charge of the hall. We want to hire guards to head to the Sky Lake in the north. The leader of the research team, an old man with slightly gray hair at his temples, said, as he took out the proof of their team. A fixed team with official certification which had participated in multiple large-scale studies. Similar teams were usually the predecessors of individual laboratories. They could only be formed with the identity of advanced sprite cultivators, so they could directly find the person in charge of the hall too. When the person in charge heard that, he immediately took out the tablet he carried with him and started to operate it before handing it to the old man. The first 20 pages are all sprite trainers with high credibility. Mr. Qian can choose for himself. Of course, after choosing, it also depends on the other party's intentions. Only when both parties agree can the contract be signed. In addition, the person in charge added, the Sky Lake is very far from White Cloud City. We may encounter powerful wild sprites on the way. So, I suggest that Mr. Qian hire a master level sprite trainer. Master level. Beside the old man, a young man in his thirties opened his mouth and said softly, Teacher, isn't hiring a master level too? He gestured, meaning that it was too expensive. Although the road to the Sky Lake was very far, there were often teams passing by. The possibility of encountering extraordinary level sprites on the way was not high. Extraordinary level was not like cabbages. Wouldn't it be better to leave the cost of hiring a master level guard as research funds? The young man thought. Old Mr. Qian shook his head at him, and then looked at the person in charge. We should hire a master level sprite trainer. Safety is the most important thing while we're outside. Does Manager Guo have anyone to recommend? Master level, and a sprite trainer with high credibility. Currently, there are only three such people who are listed as explorers in White Cloud City. The person in charge added that there was naturally more than this number of master level sprite trainers in White Cloud City. Some had no plans to go on missions, while others didn't have enough credibility. If they issued missions only for investigations or collections of precious materials, the credibility value of the person who received the mission didn't need to be that high. But if it was a protective mission, the credibility level would be very important. As there was no signal or law in the wild, the research team, as the disadvantaged party, needed to verify the guards one by one. Old Mr. Qian looked at the three people displayed on the tablet. The first one was called Xiao Zhengao. He had completed 19 protective missions without fail. His customer evaluation was very high. The second one was called Li Keek. Her mission completion level was also very high, and she had saved many people in the wild. The third one. Seeing how this face was much younger than the previous two, Qian when she was stunned, especially since. The mission record of the third person was empty. He was still thinking when the young man beside him, Yi Ji Arong, couldn't help but ask, this person named Su Hao clearly doesn't have a mission record, how can his credibility score be so high? Your system can't be wrong, right? Xiao Yi. Old Mr. Qian shouted. He then checked the other information about the third person. Apart from his gender, his age was a question mark, and they were also not authorized for the rest of his information. Qian when she understood. Other than the mission record, other resumes and identities were also very important in deciding the credibility score. The initial credibility of an official sprite trainer and a social sprite trainer was different. The third person on the tablet looked young. It was highly likely that he was a top student from a prestigious school and the heir of a sprite trainer family. There was no need for them, nor was it possible for them to use threats to achieve a high credibility score. The person in charge said, the person I'm recommending is Su Hao. Old Mr. Qian, he may be young, but in terms of strength, he's definitely not weaker than the other two. Moreover, the sprites he contracted are very comprehensive and can deal with all kinds of crises. He then went on to talk about his other merits. 
Qian Wenqi nodded slightly when he heard them. Although there was some form of marketing involved, the credits given by the exploration department couldn't be wrong. And also, Su Hao's credits were higher than the other two. Thinking about the tight budget, old Qian nodded. In a private room inside the coffee shop, a big fat bear sat on the ground. Su Hao leaned against the soft fur of the big fat bear, picked up his drink and took a few sips. Beside him, Butterfly was studying the transformation bead. Its little face frowned and realized from time to time, as if it was about to go crazy. Su Hao thought about it. Should he let it play games for a few days, or a few minutes to relax? At this moment, ding dong. His sprite commandeering wristband rang. He opened it and took a look. Manager Guo is so efficient. Let me see, a research team heading to the research station at the Sky Lake is offering 8 million yuan, together with the purified lake water from the Sky Lake. Ugh. 8 million was clearly not worth the value of a master level sprite trainer. The mission to the Sky Lake couldn't be completed in a day or two. The estimated time was 10 days to half a month. But he also told manager Guo that he didn't care much about the remuneration. If he really cared, it was normal that he couldn't accept any mission for a month or two. The purified lake water from the Sky Lake is also quite interesting. Is this team here to develop equipment? He tapped on his wristband, indicating that he accepted the mission. That day, Su Hao signed the contract at the Explorer building. Early the next morning. Neha. Su Hao rode the dumb unicorn towards the north gate of White Cloud City. That was the agreed meeting point. The mount maintained a speed of 20 km per hour and jogged slowly along the streets of the city. The big fat bear carried two boxes of goods in its hands and followed behind with its head drooped. Butterfly was still lying on top of his head while tapping on the transformation pearl. White Cloud City wasn't big. After riding for eight to nine minutes, he arrived at the northern city gate. He swept his gaze across and saw old Mr. Qian Wenqi whom he had signed the contract with yesterday. There were seven people around old Mr. Qian, who were most likely sprite cultivators too, or probably surveyors, or mechanical engineers. They were members of the research team. They were also sprite trainers who had entered the level, but they exuded a weak aura from head to toe. The other three were each accompanied by two sprites. All of the sprites were in their final evolved forms, but their power, was barely enough. They were probably guards as well. Old Mr. Qian. Mr. Su Hao. Old Mr. Qian strode forward to welcome him. The three elite sprite trainers in the team were very surprised. He's that master level. They knew that the research team had hired a master level sprite trainer. Otherwise, the risk was too high, and they might not necessarily accept the mission. But when they saw who he was, they only had two feelings. Apart from being handsome, he was just too young. Did he really have an extraordinary level sprite? Was it that horse? It didn't look like it. Was it that bear? It looked very strong, and based on their senses, it shouldn't be weak, but... Seeing how it was carrying two boxes in its hands and looked so pitiful, it couldn't be associated with an extraordinary no matter what. Then, they glanced at the top of Su Hao's head. There was a sprite sprawled on his head. It was a reverie butterfly. It was a first stage evolution type so it was even more impossible. Butterfly, which had transformed itself into a reverie butterfly, looked up and took a peek then lowered its head and continued to study the pearl in its hand. Teacher, you didn't hire the wrong person, right? I don't think he's worth eight million. Yi Jiarong, who was dressed like a sprite cultivator, couldn't help but raise his concern. No matter how he looked at Su Hao, he felt that apart from being handsome, he didn't look like those powerful master level sprite trainers at all. He was really too young. The photo wasn't taken early, he was really too young. He hadn't even graduated from university, right? Could the information be fake? Qian Wenqi glared at him, a student with no EQ at all. 
just as when he was about to say something, he heard. Squawk! A loud cry came from above. A gust of wind blew over. Everyone couldn't help but close their eyes. When they opened them again, an awe-inspiring flaming spirit crow with circles of redness circulating all over its body swooped down abruptly, lowered its head, and showed a tame look. But the few elite-level sprites around it were so scared that their hair stood on ends as they let out low growls. The weaker ones even collapsed onto the ground or hid behind their sprite trainers, letting out weak and pitiful whimpers. That flaming spirit crow was undoubtedly extraordinary. Yi Ji Arong, who previously wanted to question Su Hao, froze when his eyes met those burning eyes. Chapter 267, Characteristics, Preparation Naturally, the power of the dazed crow was deliberately exuded. After all, he was too young. Those people who lived in the New World all year round didn't recognize him as a rising star. He was also too handsome, and it was easy to attract the hatred from the same gender. It was just right to show a bit of strength and avoid some trouble. Sitting on the back of the horse which height was just right, Suha reached out to touch the crimsonest feather on the dazed crow's forehead. It was a little hot and hard. The touch wasn't as comfortable as compared to the big fat bear. He waved his hand, and the dazed crow flew into the sky with a squawk. The journey to the sky lake was boring. Looking around, the scene was just filled with rising and falling mountains and lush trees. Moreover, there was a vague dirt road in the forest it was a road formed from the endless stepping of many sprites. Suha rode on the back of the dumb unicorn leisurely. The goods hanging on the big fat bear's arms were now placed on the research team's mountain giant beast. Giant armored crab, 10,000 vine turtle, and giant mountain beast were the sprites in charge of transporting supplies in the research team. Especially the mountain giant beast, which was as tall as three to four floors. Its whole body was made of rock, and a huge container made of alloy was hung on its back. The load capacity of a single mountain giant beast was no less than a heavy truck. But trucks couldn't travel in the wild with complicated terrain. The mountain giant beast looks scary, but it's actually a paper tiger. Apart from having a bit of strength, everything else was ordinary. Its rock didn't have any special polishing, and it only mastered a few unique skills. It had developed into an elite high level but its real battle power was inferior to ordinary mid-level and early level. Therefore, Su Hao got the big fat bear to hang the goods on the mountain giant beast, before instructing it to head to the front and do some scouting. High in the sky, there was a dazed crow scouting as well. Butterfly also diverted a bit of attention to keep an eye on the surroundings. Su Hao didn't need to be too vigilant. He observed his surroundings from time to time and glanced at the map from time to time. There are too few precious materials, and their qualities are too low. Well, according to Senior Wu, you can find precious materials anywhere in areas like the Dragon Court Lake but they are rare in the New World. He took a few glances and lost interest. He really didn't want to pick it up, it didn't match his identity as a master level sprite trainer. Butterfly was also engrossed in research so it didn't express its interest. On the other hand, the few young sprite cultivators in the research team were seizing every opportunity to earn some extra money. They didn't run too far away as they only moved within 10 to 20 meters of the team. The dazed crow and the big fat bear didn't need to defend from the wild sprites that occasionally appeared. They were scared away by the few elite level sprites in the team. Like I said, there's no danger on the way. Just as Yi Ji Arong picked up a precious herb and muttered a few words, he heard a deafening roar. Roar. He fell to the ground in fright and turned to look in the direction of the roar. Two to three hundred meters away, a dark golden figure suddenly leaped down from a hilltop and ran straight towards the team. It's a great titan. It's more than four meters tall. Be careful. Old Mr. Chien shouted. On the right, an elite ground wolf immediately leaped forward under the command of its sprite trainer. But... Bang! The great titan swept its fist over, and the ground wolf let out a whimper after leaping over. Its figure flew backwards, breaking several trees on the way. 
it's an extraordinary level. The expression on the ground wolf's sprite trainer changed abruptly. Then, he remembered that there was also an extraordinary level in the team, so he calmed down and commanded his other sprite to block the Great Titan's route to buy time for the rest. But the Great Titan was ferocious. It ran over and made rumbling sounds. With a wave of its arm, the big trees blocking its way were all swept away. Its power was too terrifying. The elite sprite trainer couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Right at this moment. Squawk. A scarlet figure descended from the sky. The great titan, which sensed the threat, stopped abruptly. It raised its hand to fan a huge rock and smashed it towards the sky. Before the huge rock approached, it was broken into two and separated. The red figure suddenly flew in front of the great titan and flapped its wings. Fire crow saber slash. Bang. The great titan stretched out its arms to block its chest but was soon sent flying. An elite sprite trainer saw the deep marks that appeared on the great titan's metallic arms. The great titan, which flew dozens of meters away, didn't even dare to roar. It crawled back into the forest and escaped into the distance. The three elite sprite trainers and the other team members who previously looked like they were facing a great enemy were all stunned. The Sky Lake was very far from White Cloud City. The estimated journey was two days. Midway, they needed to set up a camp to rest. Originally, Su Hao, whose camp construction skill was only at level zero, was feeling a little troubled until an elite level sprite trainer whose name he couldn't remember came up to him. Mr. Su Hao, leave the arrangements to us. Su Hao, who was sitting on the horse, nodded expressionlessly. He gave the other party a thumbs up in his heart. At noon the next day, in the distance, a continuous mountain range appeared in his vision. Su Hao repeatedly compared it with the map and confirmed that it was the mountain range where the Sky Lake was located. However, the sprites which were slower at running such as the dumb unicorn and the 10,000 vine turtle, were totally exhausted. They only reached the top of the mountain when the sky gradually turned dark. Looking around. It was a lake with no end in sight. The lake water was calm, shining with a golden luster under the afterglow of the setting sun. Is that the sky lake? To be precise, what we see is only a small part of the sky lake, said old Mr. Chien. The sky lake is very vast. It flows down from the peak of the mountains and forms huge lakes at the top of countless mountain ranges. What we see in front of us is one of those lakes. At this moment, a water element sprite leaped out of the lake and landed with a plop. Old Mr. Chien pointed at it and said, The Sky Lake has its special characteristics. The lake water is very cold, but the strange thing is that the lake doesn't freeze, and you won't even feel much cold air. Not only that, all the water element sprites born here have a special characteristic of the Sky Lake, frozen water. The research value is very high. Apart from delivering some equipment to the research station, we're also here to collect samples of the lake water. Well, just to extract some purified lake water. Although the dumb unicorn evolved from a bloodline, its final form was a water kylan. But unlike the big fat bear which inherited its skills, the development route of dumb unicorn was still uncertain. Su so Hao pondered. Besides, Perhaps because the dumb unicorn is still an incomplete water kylan after its evolution, its characteristics are predicted to be the same as its current characteristics. And the battle value of its characteristics formed from the sky lake will be very high. Therefore, he wanted the dumb unicorn to give it a try at the sky lake. If water had turned into ice, the dumb unicorn, which didn't have the ice attribute, would naturally be weaker, but frozen water was still water. It was much more compatible with its attributes. Furthermore, if things are the same as my estimation, the dumb unicorn may also develop other characteristics after its evolution, together with the special abilities it should possess after the evolution. At this moment, old Mr. Chien ordered the others to move the goods into the research station by the lake, inside a silver-white building three floors high. The other sprite trainer guards were still carrying out their duties and guarding the surroundings. 
They didn't lower their guard just because the nearby area was relatively safe. Seeing this, Su Hao waved and instructed the pitiful big fat bear, which wanted to play with its cell phone, to continue patrolling the vicinity. He himself commanded the dumb unicorn to go forward and come to the lake. He stood with his hands behind his back. A gentle breeze blew past his hair. After staring at the interface for a long time and observing the data of many sprites, Su Hao confirmed that there was no problem. He then looked at Dumb Unicorn. Go, bring the materials you need for evolution. Tonight, I'll help you set up the venue and complete the evolution. Chapter 268, Setting Up Thousand Layered Waves, Fog Turned Into Clouds At night, a bonfire was lit in front of the three-story tall silver-white building. A fat wild boar was skewered on a long bamboo stick made of tree branches. Under the burning flames, it was slowly turned over, and drops of oil dripped down, making crackling sounds. Waves of rich fragrance spread, causing the people sitting around to swallow their saliva and move their fingers. I've been practicing my roasted pig technique for several years. Everyone who has eaten it says it's good. One of the elite sprite trainers said. At this point, apart from the twelve people in the team, the five sprite trainers stationed at the research station were also sitting at the side. The atmosphere at night was rather lively. The station commander at the research station said, In this sky lake, the most delicious food is none other than the ordinary fish in the lake. Under the frozen water, fish can survive and reproduce. The meat is very fresh and delicious, just hard to catch. It is not easy to dive into frozen water. Catching fish by the lake can also easily attract the attack of lake sprites in the sky lake. Su Hao also wanted to have a taste, especially the white silver fish in the sky lake, which made it onto the list of the most delicious ingredients in Dragon Nation. He was craving for the fish's body. But there was still a long way to go. The team had to stay at the Sky Lake for a week so there was no hurry. Seeing that Su Hao was almost done eating, the dumb unicorn brought out its evolutionary materials again. It had already walked dozens of rounds around the surroundings. It couldn't wait any longer, so it got up and headed to the lakeside on the horizon. The lake was still calm at night. There was only movement when one or two water element sprites emerged from the lake from time to time. Occasionally, there were also water element sprites which sensed the disgusted aura on the bodies of Su Hao and the dumb unicorn. They tried to attack stubbornly but were knocked unconscious by the dumb unicorn's hoof, before sinking to the bottom of the lake. Su Hao took out all the materials and counted them carefully. According to his exploration of the sky lake, he picked up a few and put down the other materials. After a slight adjustment, he looked at a strange-looking machine not far away. It was drawing the lake water, and a few sprites were guarding by the side. This machine is a machine developed by our team to purify frozen water. Old Mr. Qian's student, a young man surnamed Yi, smiled very proudly when he said this. Thinking about it, if the pure frozen water was proven to be useful, their team would be able to earn a lot of money when the machine was put into production. Su so Hao remembered his jade powder set meal plan again. As he wasn't short of money and was especially rich this semester, his procrastination disorder acted up, crossed out. He was too busy, and hadn't start executing the plan yet. Under the operation of the machine, the frozen water was purified and stored in a glass bottle with a capacity of about hundreds of milliliters. Yi still remembered that refined frozen water was one of the rewards given by his teacher. With a slightly reluctant expression, he gave out the few glass bottles. It took them three hours to extract those few bottles. Su so Hao took it, held it in his hand, and examined it carefully. Well. I see. The Sky Lake is actually a special water source. After fusing with it, the diluted lake water is filtered to reveal its essence. It has already been purified, but I think it can further be concentrated into a blue smoke form. Flames had special fire seeds and water streams had special water sources. The water source flowing down from the peak of the mountains was just especially special. Not only was the quality high, there were also a lot of them. 
it was very different from ordinary market rules. At the side, Yi curled his lips in the beginning. When he spoke halfway, his eyes widened. At the end, he stared at the machine for a long time without saying anything, as if he had fallen into self-doubt. Su Hao didn't bother about him. After adding the refined frozen water, he packed all the materials and hung them around the neck of the dumb unicorn. Since the conditions are limited, there's no way to arrange it in detail, but it's about time. Go. He patted it. The dumb unicorn swallowed the water element essence and brought other materials with it. With a neigh, it ran into the lake. Su Hao looked at its back and thought for a moment. The dazed crow's figure was too eye-catching, and it was fire element, while the big fat bear couldn't fly. He reached out and poked butterfly. Gurgle. Gurgle. It flew up with a series of pearls of various sizes and went to protect the dumb unicorn. On the calm lake, the dumb unicorn's whole body had already started to emit a blue light, which was especially dazzling under the night sky. Before the light rays on its body interweaved into light cocoons, several water element sprites nearby were attracted by the movement of its evolution. They also felt the disgusted aura on dumb unicorn's body so they all pounced over. At once, water arrows and water bullets flew out, causing the water surface to surge. But... Bang! Without holding back, the dumb unicorn released an extraordinary aura pressure. On the surface of the lake, circles of ripples spread out abruptly. The bottom of the invisible lake was even completely stirred up. The wild water element sprites swimming over were so frightened that they all swam far away and towards the bottom of the lake. Instantly, peace returned to the surroundings of the dumb unicorn. At this moment, the blue lines finally interweaved into a huge light cocoon that wrapped around it before gradually sinking. In front of the silver-white building. At, Mr. Su House sprite is evolving. It's that horse, old Mr. Qian said. He had some understanding of this matter. I see. Mr. Su Hao wants the water cloud horse to evolve in the sky lake. The person who spoke looked at the flaming spirit crow that was still standing there quietly like a sentry not far away. He was a little puzzled. It's very dangerous to evolve in the wild, right? Especially in a place like the sky lake. It is too mysterious and there are too many water element sprites there but it seems like there isn't any wild sprites appearing either. Big Boss Su Hao must have his own plans. He shook his head. They continued to chat and chat. A few elite level sprites were scattered around, maintaining the vigilance they should have. Time passed second by second. In Su Hao's eyes, the evolution progress of the dumb unicorn finally went from 99% to 100%. At this point, the surface of the lake was still calm. With a large amount of spiritual jades used, there were no visible swirls of spiritual energy in the air. There were only some waves under the lake, but the dumb unicorn continued to release extraordinary pressure, until no wild sprites dared to approach it. Finally. Crack. Boom. The huge light cocoon under the water broke. On the water surface, the water stream suddenly exploded and rushed out 20 to 30 meters high. But that was just the beginning. After a brief silence of 2 to 3 seconds, the water surface started to flip violently. Water pillars shot up into the sky one after another as huge waves were raised on the calm lake surface. They grew from more than 10 meters tall to a height of dozens of meters. The commotion under the water surface was even greater. Countless wild sprites emerged from the water surface in panic. Fairy snail boats and six-eyed flying fish broke through the water flow and escaped one after another. The huge commotion also attracted the attention of everyone on the shore and in front of the small building. What happened? Did that water cloud horse evolve successfully? That's not right. How could there be such a big commotion just from evolution alone? Old Jian, what do you think? Among everyone, the one with the highest status and vision was undoubtedly Qian Wenqi, a high-level sprite cultivator. Old Qian had a place in the Dragon Nation's sprite cultivation world. However, at this moment, Qian Wenqi also didn't quite understand. 
Usually, the evolution ritual doesn't cause much of a commotion, and there aren't powerful wild sprites appearing either. He pointed at the thunder roaring by the lake. Sprites are far more sensitive than us. If a powerful wild sprite appears, that thunder bear will definitely react, so. I eliminated all the impossible situations, and there's only one result left. That water cloud horse broke through at the same time it evolved. It broke through to extraordinary level. When it broke through, its aura erupted, resulting in the big commotion right now. Yes. So, Mr. Suhao has two extraordinary level sprites now? Most veteran masters can't even compare to him. Yet. The research station commander looked at his giant crocodile king, which was only at the limit of elite level, and then at the figure on the shore. He was both envious and impressed. His future is limitless. On the lake, huge waves spread out layer by layer from the center. If someone looked down from the sky, they would discover that the huge waves resembled a huge blooming flower. And right in the center of the flower. Neha. Neha. The blue figure leaped out from the center of the huge wave, breaking through the water surface. Countless waves flew out with it, splashing into the air. When the momentum stopped and it was about to fall, everything became quiet as crystal clear water droplets floated in mid-air. Under the moonlight, it seemed to give the blue figure a layer of sparkling brilliance. It stepped on the air and went straight up. Around it, countless water droplets and mist followed closely. They gradually gathered together and turned into clouds. With every step it took, the clouds under its feet expanded. By the time the dumb unicorn stood in mid-air, light blue clouds had already gathered under its feet. It looked as if it was standing among the clouds. It raised its head and called out, then strode over with noble and dignified steps. Chapter 269, Dumb Unicorn's Development Method The scene in front of their eyes instantly stunned the dozen-odd people around the bonfire. As the blue figure stepped on the clouds and ascended, the thousands of waves on the lake surface fell and gradually returned to calm. But suddenly, around the bonfire, the eyes of the giant crocodile king, which looked like it had fallen asleep, opened abruptly as it let out a low growl. A second later, an elephant general also looked towards the lake in the distance. It held its giant hammer and looked wary. The research station commander shouted, Be careful, extraordinary level wild sprites have appeared. Just as he finished speaking, splash! Another stream of water shot up into the sky. In the waves, a flying fish with three pairs of eyes rushed out of the water. It was a six eyed flying fish. Compared to its own kind, the six eyed flying fish in front of them was even longer. Its scales were glowing, and it looked especially delicious, especially strong. The moment it appeared, the water surface surged. Instantly, countless water droplets flew up, turning into hundreds of water arrows that shot towards the dumb unicorn that was standing on a cloud. Like tens of thousands of arrows being fired at once, every move was filled with boundless power. When the people on the shore saw this, they all showed some worry. The dumb unicorn on the cloud didn't dodge or evade. It let out a neigh that spread far and wide. Countless ripples appeared on the water surface and mist spread around its body like clouds of smoke. The hundreds of water arrows that shot out, so densely packed that even a sprite couldn't dodge suddenly came to a stop as the dumb unicorn let out a cry. They stopped in the air 10 to 20 meters away from it. As if the dumb unicorn had pressed the pause button, the water arrows that flew out had suddenly frozen in place. The elite sprite trainers who used sprite commandeering, Visual sharing could even see water flowing in those sparkling water blue arrows, but the arrows themselves were frozen in place. It was as though it was frozen by magic. The six eyed flying fish, which was also flying in mid air, had all of its six eyes wide open. It was so angry that its whole body trembled, and the mist around its body also became dense. The water arrows also trembled along with it. However, in the next moment, Hundreds of water arrows turned around abruptly, stopping at 180 degrees, and pointed their sharp arrows at the six-eyed flying fish. 
A burst of mist erupted from the tail feathers, and hundreds of arrows shot out, slicing through the air and producing sharp whistles. Swish! 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 The water arrow blasted the water shield, and balls of mist exploded in the air. At the same time, with another neigh, the dumb unicorn raised thousands of waves from beneath the water surface again, turning them into lifelike water dragons with scales and dragon horns. They roared and rushed towards the six-eyed flying fish that was dizzy from the explosion. The six-eyed flying fish, which had been furious for being woken up and had exuded an unparalleled aura, suddenly widened its eyes and constricted its wings, as if it was indicating that it was just an innocent flying fish passing by. It retreated bit by bit, and after a few seconds, it suddenly turned around as it transformed into a light and shot into the distance. It didn't even dare to go underwater anymore. Splash! At this moment, the lifelike water dragons lost control and collapsed, turning into water droplets that fell. The dumb unicorn let out a domineering neigh and ran over on a cloud. Whoosh! It landed on the shore and stepped on the ground. The cloud dissipated instantly, turning into light blue mist, like smoke and dust, surrounding the surroundings. It ran in front of Su Hao, made a neha sound, lowered its head, and rubbed against him. It seemed like Su Hao had gotten shorter again. On the shore, old Mr. Qian and the others came forward and looked at the evolved cloud water dragon. It had a head like a dragon, a pair of dragon horns and dragon whiskers were eye-catching. Its body was covered in scales, and it was surrounded by smoke and clouds, giving it a sense of nobility and dignity, like a monarch. It's not a cloud water dragon horse, but like, like, a kylan. Old Mr. Qian shouted. There was no kylan to be found among the sprites recorded in the Union's illustration book, but, since it was after all an ancient legend, totem and mythical beast, many people could recognize its appearance. Old Mr. Qian couldn't control his restless hands and wanted to touch the noble sprite in front of him. But... Neha! The water-blue smoke cloud shook, and old Mr. Qian could only reluctantly withdraw his demonic claws. He didn't ask for anything, but just widened his eyes and kept observing, unwilling to let go of every detail. Perfect, what a perfect sprite! Water spirit full! Does it have a hidden pathway that can evolve into a kylan? If even old Mr. Qian behaved like this, the others only dared to look from afar and not near. Even Su Hao felt that after the evolution of the dumb unicorn, its temperament had changed drastically. It was rather... Neha? Neha? The dumb unicorn in front of him started circling him again. Su Hao was speechless. Then, Su Hao snapped his fingers. The dumb unicorn, which had been tamed to the point that commands had become second nature, immediately stopped and bent its knees in a half squat. Su so Hao didn't ride it. He touched its ice cold scales and observed carefully. Suddenly, he reached out and tried to grab onto the cloud like mist that floated around the dumb unicorn. He failed. But there was no bone chilling sensation. Is it because the coldness of the frozen water is trapped within each of the droplets and therefore could not dissipate? Su so Hao held his chin and thought for two minutes. He couldn't think of a reason, so he decided, to use a reference to get to the answer. Sprite, Water Kylan. Bloodline Concentration, 62.3%. Characteristics, Extreme Water. Unique Skill, Charging, Water Arrow. Water Curtain, Stomp, Water Bullet, Water Dragon's Roar, Wave Treading, Bubbles Defense, Water Path, Cloud Steps. Profound Truths, Stacking Waves, Summoning Tide. Talent. 1. Water Elemental Control LV1 plus 0.6. 2. Mist Cloud, Name Changeable. Special, 1. Water Trace Cloud Road, 2. Smooth scales. The interface of the dumb unicorn was clearly not as gorgeous as butterfly and dazed crow, but after evolution, there were also many areas worth developing. He looked at a certain column. 
it was born with water element control that has an additional level of 0.6. It should be due to the bloodline enhancement effect. Not bad, its bloodline should also have other hidden enhancements, such as deterrence, control of water streams, gathering mist to form clouds. Characteristics The interface is named Extreme Water. That should be the most essential type of frozen water, the ultimate water source. But how could I develop the lethality of this extreme water? Su Hao looked around, felt that there was no one he could test it on for the time being, and gave up. A few hundred meters away, a big fat bear popped its head out from behind the rock and breathed a sigh of relief. At this point, Su Hao was still thinking, maintaining the posture of thinking. JPG. He thought about how to nurture the evolved dumb unicorn. In the past, in order to allow it to evolve, all the cultivation methods were used to stimulate the bloodline. But now, it can already develop the battle system of dumb unicorn. Without a doubt, the development direction would definitely be in two directions, water control and mist cloud. In any case, the dumb unicorn didn't need to be a meat shield anymore. It was pretty good as a mount that could only cast spells. He already had a bit of an idea. On the special cultivation column of the dumb unicorn, new information immediately appeared. There was an especially seductive unlockable that was seducing him to press. Su Hao, however, managed to restrain himself. He flipped his hand and used three intelligence points to unlock the advanced list of dumb unicorn. Advanced Evolution 1. Bloodline Evolution, Compatibility, 98%. Unlock with 12 intelligence points. 2. Oceanic Evolution, 95% compatibility, unlock with 12 intelligence points. 4. Dark Evolution, compatibility, 86%, unlock with 12 intelligence points. 6. Cloud Evolution, compatibility, 80%, unlock with 12 intelligence points. 8. Extreme Ice Evolution, 76% compatibility, unlock with 12 intelligence points. 10. Roaring Cloud Evolution, compatibility, 56%, unlock with 12 intelligence points. Chapter 270, Poker Bandits In front of the Sky Lake. Neh neh ha. The dumb unicorn let out a domineering cry. In an instant, thousands of waves rose on the surface of the water forming a water wall. After staying still for a few seconds, the water wall suddenly exploded. Countless fish and a few water element sprites flew out from it and ran away in panic. Fish were carried by the water and flew hundreds of meters away, sprinkling down from above like dense raindrops. It fell into the huge, still water balls on the shore. Thud. Thud. The fish flew into the water and were trapped in the water prison. The few people who had long prepared beside the water balls sprayed out large nets to cover the huge balls of water and pulled forcefully. The lively fish were caught. Seeing that today's ingredients were set, and perhaps that was even some extra, Su so Hao got the dumb unicorn to throw two huge water balls back and let some fish live. Then, he instructed. Continue your training. After that, enrich your battle methods according to the arrangements I made yesterday. After giving instructions to the dumb unicorn, Su Hao found the big fat bear again. At this moment, the big fat bear was also by the lake. Stepping on the frozen water, it suddenly bent down and slapped the water surface with its paws. Sizzle. Dense electric arcs spread out, forming a huge electric net. Countless waves exploded, and the countless fish that had just been released were blown out again and landed on the shore. But now, the fish couldn't jump around anymore. Su Hao stopped and checked for a moment. Yes, not bad. Continue. By the lake on the horizon, after Su Hao gave a few sprites some pointers, he laid on a rocking chair woven from vines. Making plans for the future. Earning money, writing research papers, cultivating butterfly and the others into monarch rank, contracting sprites with affinity for the eyes. Things weren't urgent. Now that he had the ability to protect himself, 
he felt extremely relaxed. The lake breeze blew, as Su Hao enjoyed the rare peace. White Cloud City, somewhere. A hover car without tires flew at waist height. The hover car was a completely new type of spiritual energy technology. It didn't consume oil or electricity, but spiritual jades. It was also developed based on the earth element gravity unique skill and wind element unique skill wind ride. At the moment, the technology was still at a stage where there were very few of these hover cars. Each one was extremely expensive and had high energy consumption. There weren't many hover cars to be found in the entire Dragon Nation. But in a new world with complicated terrain and no roads, the hover car was more useful than other ordinary cars. Its speed was also comparable to the speed of an elite limit ground wolf running at full speed. At this moment, six people were sitting in the seven-seater hover car. All of them were dressed in black clothes, wearing either black suits with black trousers or black short skirts. A few of them were fully armed, equipped with slanted firearms and tactical helmets. Making them look very much like, a couple of underlings. But they all had one thing in common, they were all wearing a pendant. One of them had a pendant with black spade K imprinted on it, while another had a red spade Q pendant. The rest wore pendants with the numbers 6, 7, 8 and 9, with either a red or black spade. Boss. We're only 50 kilometers away from our destination. Oh, are we almost there? I think I see banknotes waving, the curly-haired man in the suit said as he hung his hand outside the window. A certain underling asked, Boss, what if we still can't find the machine? Then we'll go back and beat up the person who provided the information. More than once. In a flash, a lofty and continuous mountain range appeared in their vision. In another half hour or so, the car had already driven halfway up the mountain. The curly-haired man in the suit ordered his subordinate to stop the car. Let's do it here. This car is worth a lot so we shouldn't go too far. He looked at a woman among the six. Q, take them and get the machine. What about you? The woman with the code name of Red Spade Q asked. Me. The suited man looked into the distance. My baby told me that someone bothersome is coming. We'll meet in half an hour. The woman summoned her sprite and went up the mountain with the other three. The remaining person drove the hover car away. At the peak of the nameless mountain, by the lake at the horizon. The machine developed by old Jian's team was still continuing to extract water from the sky lake, purifying it and extracting bottles of frozen water after purification. It was also taking samples for research. There were corresponding research facilities in the Silver White Building. The other three ordinary guards still carried out their duties. Every day, they ordered their sprites to patrol the surroundings and chase away the invading wild sprites. There was no need for the dazed crow and the others to make a move. After all, this area was a relatively safe area to begin with, which was why the research station was built here. The six-eyed flying fish that day only made a fuss because it was disturbed by the aura of the dumb unicorn. Usually, very few water element sprites appeared in the sky lake. The whole scene was harmonious. Boom! An explosion came from the foot of the mountain. The people in the building ran out one after another. What happened, what happened? Some sprites are fighting, wait, not just sprites, humans. Sprite trainers are fighting. An elite sprite trainer shouted. Su so Hao immediately sent out Dazed Crow to scout, and used sprite commandeering, visual sharing to ensure that it remained discreet. He saw a few men in black riding sprites and had already arrived at the top of the mountain. The sprites didn't talk much, but they were ruthless. The group of sprites immediately attacked, especially the fairy snail. Waves of water turned into blades slashing out continuously. In just an instant, before many of them could even react, several elite level sprites were already heavily injured and had lost their battle power. The dazed crow and the other sprites were all at the lake so they couldn't get to the scene in time to help out. Well, even Su Hao had to admit that his attention was a little scattered due to the ongoing battle below. That's the Union's arrest team. 
someone identified one of the parties fighting halfway up the mountain. Su Hao continued to let the dazed crow observe the situation. Isn't that, the department in charge of arresting major wanted criminals? Within the union, apart from the Association of Sprite Trainers and the Association of Sprite Cultivators of the various countries, there were also several important departments. The Crime Bureau was one of them. Su Hao knew quite a lot about this. The Crime Bureau was an internal affairs department. The duties of the arrest team and arrest officers were somewhat similar to the students of Sprite Universities. They were all arresting wanted criminals and dealing with terrorist organizations. The difference was that the wanted criminals the students dealt with were mostly small fry, while the Crime Bureau specialized in capturing the big fish, especially the ones of an international scale. But who were those men in black? It's, it's the poker bandits, said the young sprite cultivator Yi. Su Hao was still puzzled. The poker bandits. You actually don't know. Yi was surprised. The poker bandits are a group that got on the union's wanted list and committed countless crimes. As Su Hao and Yi spoke, the people at the front lines were continuously forced to retreat. The poker bandits approached step by step with a group of fierce sprites. The woman in black, who was surrounded by the others in the middle, brushed her long curly hair. Since you know about the poker bandits, then obediently hand over the frozen water purifying machine and the corresponding technology. We don't know what machine you're talking about. Mr. Yi blurted out, but his eyes involuntarily glanced at the machine by the lake. The woman in black immediately discovered it. She chuckled and pressed forward step by step. Are you going to hand it over yourselves, or? Her words weren't fierce, but rather charming. However, Yi and the others didn't dare to relax. Their bodies had already tensed up. An elite sprite trainer shouted, The union's arrest team has already arrived, it's not too late for you to escape now. A mere arrest team. Her expression was disdainful. At this moment, apart from Su Hao, the other two sprite trainers who were using visual sharing to connect to the flying sprites were also able to see everything. Halfway up the mountain, the arrest team of five men and ten sprites had been defeated by the violent attacks of the black-clothed gang and their sprites. The powerful sprite owned by the leader of the arrest team should have been an extraordinary sprite. However, even such a sprite slowly lost its advantage after being bombarded by the broadsword attacks of the golden armored overlord of the black clothed gang. The arrest team was no match. Then what should they do? Many people turned to look at Su Hao. Old Mr. Qian suddenly said, You can have the machine and the technology, but you have to promise not to hurt anyone. <laughs>